Today, we're going to see what the blank script node is and how you can use it. The blank script node is useful for writing your own custom scripts directly in the node in JavaScript and TypeScript and use that in your workflow. Typically, you will use one of the pre-built nodes. And if anything is missing, you can generate a node with AI and every node on BuildShip you can open with the node editor and look at the code and edit it. So you can generate with AI and then tweak the code. But if you really want, you can also use this empty node to code something from scratch. Let's add it to my current workflow. So my workflow here takes a URL, turns that into a PDF, then uploads it to the built-in BuildShip storage, and then lists out the content of the reports folder. Now, I'm currently returning that list of files, but I want to do something else with it. So let's first look at the info of our empty node. Let's hop into our node and see what makes it tick. So right now, it just logs hello and returns the string hello, which is all well and good. Let's take a look at what else we have in this node. We have a list of inputs, which is that name. We have the outputs, which is the output of our node, and the info itself. So let's add an input, shall we? How about we add as an input the list of files? And we're going to know that this is going to be an array. It's going to be a required field. Then our label is going to be files. The output itself we're going to change to be an array because this is also going to be the file's output from our node. So back in our code, let's add those files as an input and use them. Instead of returning the string hello, we're going to return files splice. And we're going to get the first 10 files. Let's go ahead and save that node. Because now we're just going to return those first 10 files and return here, and you're going to see that it's possible. So where do these files come from? We can get them as a variable from our list files node previously. And we're done. We can then replace this list of files with the empty node output. And that's it. Now when your workflow gets to this point with the empty node, it will be running the script that we have written in that empty node. We can go ahead and ship this and we're good to go. And as you can see, that's how we can just scratch the surface. You can expand this any way you like to build your ideas with a powerful backend. See you in the next video.